Hello there, my name is Richo. If it's the first time you see my channel, I use the cartoon reviews, anime reviews, or something completely random. And today will be First Impression. If you don't know what the First Impression is, it's basically it's a show is good enough to watch or avoid. That's basically that it. Alright, let's start. Not today will be exciting because not half one, but two very exciting, oh, not even two, actually three exciting shows that I kind of want to talk about. One of the first one would be Last Man. Last Man is created by the cult media, produces this show. It's based on a comic book, the same name. Last Man, made to the game, made to the anime series, total of 25 episodes, and each episode is 13 minutes. And right now, our fifth episode. What if Last Man is Tick Rocky, Tick his coach, pulling in couple bebop, mixed up with a lot of star? It's Last Man. But it's so awesome, is the fact it feels like a, a cinematic film. I mean, it took their time not to be like anime. And it kind of wants to be anime, but it avoids all aspects of anime. But you feel this kind of cinematic view that's just so brilliant. Now, let me tell the story. It's about this, let's call him for right now, Rocky. But if they mention him very younger and foolish, they kind of cocky and selfish kind of character. But till one of the moment they defend this other person, he coach actually paid the price. But at the end, you've realized the coach is kind of like his father figure slash teacher. But on this, in fact, when this character dies, he has a bunch of secrets that he never found out about it. One of them is that he has a daughter. Maybe. I mean, it just clarify it could be a daughter, but at the same time, why didn't you tell him? You also have this other kind of occult trying to take her because she has a special ability and on top of that you have this weird kind of uh, situation with the cartel with gangs with money and weapon and the officer are trying to understand who is this coach of his and trying to see if it connected or at least proven he is a drug dealer or something like that it makes the series so interesting because our main character Rocky he's kind of lost because this is the guy he always look up to and he has so many secrets he doesn't know why but a little bit more he attempted to explore but at first, he had to take up the the gym. He had to take care of the club. He had to take care of this little girl before he actually took up the mystery of his coach. That is so interesting. It starts to take a breather and actually think, what I'm supposed to do? What is next? That's why I compare it kind of on the star because if you've seen that anime, you know what I mean. That the main character stops, he thinks, he, before he acts, oh, I need to pay my bill. Oh, I need to pay the uh, guest company. And that's just basically the show. They're trying to make go the main story, but you have to do other things to get the main issue. So that's so funny, interesting, especially how the animation is early 90s, kind of jacked up, kind of on our social, you know, I'm built to take on the whole world type of deal. He can be kind of Jojo Bizarre Adventure, but it's still, he's still very young and foolish. You know, this type of situation is one of the things that I enjoy. I love to avoid being the anime tropes, avoid trying to be cliche, and it has fun. It feels so original and fresh. It's about I highly recommend to watch. You can watch all of it, no, in verb, am I correct? Basically free, you don't need a credit card, at least the first month, that you just uh, pick up and Joy. You have another one that straight uh, herb as that basically called Dave and his demon. It's a mini series who have about five or six episodes, each episode of ten minutes long. But goddamn, it's fun. How to describe this show is basically kind of men in black, but instead of dealing with aliens, you deal with mon monsters. But Greg is basically the main character. Greg, he about to retire, but he can't because he needs a disciple, someone who take his place. The only problem is Greg is just tired of all this BS. He just wanna quit. He wants to leave, but the same time he's not because he's the chosen one for the last 30 years but you can tell how much this work kind of wore him down and i think that's a dark cynical view of this world because he doesn't want to do it anymore but it's always that one person who needs help so it's, it forces himself to this type of situation to help others the guy's a good decent person but he's just tired i love it they have this kind of ironic way of this world works for example greg's partner he's the kind of like a rookie right she's still hopeful trying to help the best he can he had to face someone like the Bloody Mary that she killed all his friends when he's a kid and traumatized them. Now she had to work with them because she's now not a killer, a helper and retired. So this kind of awkward kind of situation is just kind of funny especially how Bloody Mary reacts to him like oh yeah I kill all your friends right? It's a good time. It's a good time. It's this sick twisted dark humor that I just adore this series. This is very small. Right now it's about the episode 3. We only two episodes left so I recommend just a pick up and enjoy because it is really good it's funny and enjoyable one of those series that is doesn't take itself so serious 
but it's have this almost deeping no understanding the I messed up kind of situations and it makes the character more interesting and I love how Greg is not perfect he's a messed up I mean and the way it is you should betray heroes that you're the chosen one you have to be this perfect and flawed I love they took a reverse day what happened the, the chosen one is kind of tired of this he had been this 30 years he just want to retire it helps the whole series be so different fresh say so just highly recommend to watch it this one was on verb now we have our final show that have been a little well on right now that be no man nowhere that it's not a show that I highly recommend to watch because it's kind of fun a beginning kind of simple animation with oh kind of like a Sarah cartoon man who doesn't talk in fact that's pretty creative the character the main character doesn't talk but he possibly the magic person or the last magic person in this world and people trying to catch to see he can save it or something like that because the series is kind of vague a lot and keep watching they do explain it they don't like string you around forever in fact after the fifth episode they explain more deeper what he is his power actually works especially you, you come alive object that just copy your hands you have two eyes and feet and walk around they're not sentient they are smart enough to do walk around, but at the same time, they give command to protect the nomad. That's so interesting that you don't know what's his power, what he extended his power, but he didn't know. He has amnesia that really doesn't remember what happens before he was found. He just know he has to keep running, avoid everybody that possibly can. Heavily inspired by Triga, that it's, you like Triga, you probably love this series because it has this kind of fun aspect that you don't know where this guy's going. He's a sweet, innocent person, but he really knows his full potential or why the people are after him. That it's just so interesting. Also, I love they give a little hints here and there about the world. And the fact this series is from Russo Teeth that they know how to build a world without saying any words. They show you little things to understand how this world works. It's just so funny and creative. I highly recommend it. Right now, it's on YouTube. They're on the sixth episode. Right now, they have it is, But it's a good time to catch up right now. In the beginning it feels kind of a similar cartoon, but not a good one. But the longer you keep watching, the more they actually pace off. So yeah, I got nothing else to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.